Hello everyone! So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my August favorites. I had a really overwhelming response to the idea of doing an art supplies favorites of the month type video. So I'm going to start doing these once a month for you guys. It'll usually be within the first week of every month with various types of supplies and things that I've been enjoying throughout the month, the previous month. So these are going to be my favorites for the month of August. And I guess let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that I've been really enjoying throughout the month of August is this sketchbook. And I showed this in my camera setup video. Um, this is a sketchbook, as I mentioned in that video, is something that I put together myself. And I know it's kind of kind of crappy that I'm showing something that you can't actually go out and buy because I did put it together myself, but it's something I've been using a lot, so I thought I would go ahead and, and include it. Um, this is a, it was, a notebook from um, erincondren.com, and anything I mention I will have linked in the video description down below as usual. So the cover and back cover are both from erincondren.com, as well as this like little strappy band right here. Um, but the insides, you, see, you can see it was a notebook. Um, I took like the interior pages from old notebooks that I had, and I uncoiled this coil right here, and I put the blank paper inside to make a sketchbook, and it took hours and hours and hours and hours to do, but um, yeah, so that's where this came from. I also took this little punch. This is a 1 8 punch by Friskers, I believe, yeah, and I punched some additional paper that I put into the back, and I punched each hole individually so it would fit in here, and then I coiled it all back together. And I have a notes and ideas section that I haven't actually started using yet because I only started using this a little while ago that has blank paper in it. There's a folder and then like a little zippy pocket and all these things came out of um, old Erin Condren notebooks and then there's a like notepad that's kind of stuck with adhesive to the back of this back cover here that is just an additional space to draw and there's like a little pen loop that I have hooked here and yeah so that's the sketchbook that I've been using a lot as well as um, my Midori that I was usually using my sketchbook videos so yeah, I like that this matches my planner. This is my planner right here. Yay, donuts! Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I like having stuff that matches, so. I've been really enjoying using the sketchbook. Um, I wish that Erin Condren would sell a blank notebook that just had blank paper in it, because I think that that would be kind of nice for us artists who like to draw stuff, so yeah. Alright, so the next thing that I've been really enjoying throughout the month of August have been these pencils. These are Palomino Blackwing pencils. I have two of the four varieties of these. Um, they're different um, softness of lead, so that's why they're in different packages. Um, they look like this. If I can get it to focus. Let's see. Yeah, they're just regular drawing pencils. Um, these are the pencils that they used um, according to my animation teacher that they used to do cleanup at Disney. Um, they're super nice quality and they have little erasers at the end that pull out and then you can ex or replace them. And I have a replacement pack right here. But yeah, they just pop right back in, which is pretty cool if you're a kind of person who uses the eraser on a pencil a lot. Um, you get a box of 12 of these. I think they're like $22 on jet pens. They're kind of expensive, but they're super nice quality, so I don't mind like spending that much on them because you don't you take a long time to go through these and I draw a lot and I've hardly like touched this at all. So so the two varieties I have, I have just the regular Palomino Blackwing and then I have the Palomino Blackwing Pearl, which looks like this. The pearl is the white one. I'm working with a, my new camera that I haven't really done before, so if it's a bit blurry and weird, I'm I'm sorry. Um, but the regular Palomino Black Wings, these ones in the white box, are about equivalent to a, between a 5B and a 6B in lead softness, and the Pearl, which comes in the black box, is about, I think it's like a 4B equivalent. And then there's the Palomino Blackwing 602, which is equivalent to about a 2B. And then there's a new, like a limited edition Palomino that I don't have, and it's the 725. And I'm not, I don't really know much about that one, so because I don't have it. But I might pick those up sometime because these are really nice drawing pencils. 
and actually the other things that are included in my favorites kind of go along with these, so I'm going to talk about those right now. Alright, so the next thing is just something really simple. Um, it is a pencil cap. I'll zoom you in. Just a pen, like a little pencil cap for a pencil like this. And then you just slide it on so your tip doesn't break if you like to carry it in a bag or a pencil case or in your pocket. <laughs> I know people do that. Um, but yeah, it just covers the tip of your pencil so the lead doesn't break so you don't waste lead. And I like that. I got these from Jet Pens. They came in a set of it was like four or five and they were maybe two dollars they're super cheap um inexpensive stuff so yeah so the next thing that i have that goes along with these pencils is this pencil sharpener if i could point it the right way that would be fantastic this is the coom automatic break long point two-step pencil sharpener and it has replacement blades with it as well so it looks like this I always have a hard time getting it open because I'm special. There we go. Alright, so this is a two-step pencil sharpener, as I just said, um, and that means that one side is meant to sharpen the wood of the pencil and one side is meant to sharpen the lead. So this side, when you put your pencil in, it will sharpen the lead up to this point, or the wood up to the point where it says stop, and then it will stop sharpening the wood, and then you transfer it over to this side, and then it will sharpen just the lead, and it gives you a super nice point like on this pencil, it has a, I've used this a little bit, but it gives you a really fine point, which is good for doing like detail drawings and stuff when you're doing illustration. So this is a good pencil sharpener and it is $4.10 on jetpens.com. All right, so the last little thing that I'm going to talk about, as I said, this is going to be a really short little video, um, are these brushes. This is actually the same brush. Um, they're just different sizes. One's the like petite version and one is the regular size version, but these are the Princeton Art and Brush Company Monogram 20-0 paintbrushes. They're extremely small. Um, this one I've used quite a bit, so it's kind of fraying out, which is why I bought, I think I bought four replacements for it, because it usually looks like that. So it's very, very tiny, but I actually use these brushes for painting dolls, because I painted probably five or six dolls in August. Um, so I use these a lot for doing face-ups on dolls, and I actually have a face-up filmed for you guys, so if you want to see that, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will definitely post that for you guys. But I've been really enjoying using these little brushes, even though they're super fine. They're just really good quality, they hold a lot of paint, and they don't absorb so much paint that it like blobs when you're doing stuff, like when you're painting on a doll, which is a really like fine thing to do. Um, it doesn't absorb so much paint that the paint will run off all over what you're working on. So I really like these paintbrushes a lot, which is why I bought a bunch of these. So, yeah. And one more thing before I end this video. Um, do you guys want to see, like, other things included in the monthly favorites? Like, an art book, or an art guidebook, or... Of like my favorite movie of the month or music you might not be able to do music because of copyright evilness but um, if you guys want to see additional things added to this type of video um, leave me a comment below and let me know and I will see if I can get that included in September's favorites um, yeah all right so that is it for my August favorites I know it was a little bit short and there wasn't any like coloring tools but I've been mostly sketching for the past month instead of working in color but I do have some colored tools in my September favorites. I've already been writing down a list of things I want to include for that. Um, and that also will include a like DIY sketchbook type thing that's kind of like this, but it's really inexpensive to do. So look forward to that. I actually may make a video on just that by itself since I, something I discovered like last week and have been really enjoying it, but I didn't want to include it in August favorites because I haven't been using it for that long. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any ideas for products you want me to try out, you can leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll check it out. And maybe it'll be included in a future video for you guys. And I guess that's everything. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!